all right people welcome welcome again to mg sports tv hopefully you guys are doing good and you guys are totally fine we have some huge topic to talk about tonight as you know this is my one of my favorite season in football in jamaica i know i know i know a lot of persons don't like it a lot of persons complain about this or that but schoolboy football season is one of my favorite seasons in football in jamaica why is that so i love the interaction <clears throat> between me the players the excitement I, I i love it i really really love it now they say i'm one of the reasons why <laughs> the schoolboy football is like this and won't go away but <clears throat> That's how it is. We, we, this is something that we drive. We have passion for it. All right. So <clears throat> we'll be speaking about specifically the Kingston College Manning Cup team. Well, I was, was going to speak about teams that I have already seen so far this season in the schoolboy football um, spectrum of things. We're going to we're going to also speak about the under fifteen championship. We're going to touch on the under fifteen championship first because we want to get that out of the way as fast as possible so those are the main or the body of talking topics that we will be covering tonight those are the body of talking topics that we will be covering tonight now let's first touch on the u15 championships the U, the, the under 15 boys have been doing brilliant i mean really really brilliant people i know a lot of persons not really seen what's happening last night I, I i gave you gave you guys the opportunity to see a full game when they played against mexico yes they lost but you can see where their imp the improvement is needed you can see the quality that we have you can see the level that mexico is at but you can you could get, get the opportunity to see a lot of stuff surrounding the team the, see our players see the squad who the players are so I, I gave you guys that opportunity not many persons know these players i know them because of same schoolboy football and also the smaller leagues that i've covered that's the reason why i know most of these players um not sure if they know me <laughs> but i know them um <clears throat> also also specifically they will be playing tomorrow you know what before I do that people please do smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you're here for the first time if you like the content if you enjoy the content if you enjoy the content or first if you like the content and it sounds good hit the like button if you're enjoying the content and you think you might want to see more hit the subscribe button become a part of the family if you can become a member or patron we will definitely appreciate so big up to our members and patron as well now let's get straight into the meat of the matter all right, so let me just bring up the the let, I'm gonna bring up the the fixtures. Let me bring up the fixtures so you guys can see. I'm go, I'm just gonna show you guys the fixtures. So this is the fixtures. This is our fixtures so far. So we will be playing against Honduras. This is actually the the League A quarterfinals. So basically, the boys are in the quarterfinal um of the league a that's that's where they that's where they are they're they're in they are in the quarterfinals of league a and as a son i i they have been doing really really good they'll be going up against um honduras 1 p.m tomorrow they will be going up against honduras 1 p.m tomorrow this will be a tough one now how to see the game the game will be on a concave page I think I I might I I think I won't be able to live stream it. I know that person will be asking me if I'll be able to live stream it. I don't think I'll be able to live stream it, um, based on maybe the circumstances I'm I might under. Um, I think maybe I can try and do something. Maybe I can try and do something, but nothing is guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed so far. Um, most I can do, and uh, because we don't have the broadcasting right. I don't want to broadcast it and then get a copyright strike. What I can do is I can re-upload or, or, or give you guys the full match. So maybe you guys will be able to see the game at roughly about 4 p.m. tomorrow evening. Maybe you guys will be able to see the game 4 p.m. tomorrow evening. So, so that's what I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm going to do for you guys. I'll allow you guys to see the game at 4 p.m. tomorrow. But they have been doing brilliant. They, the boys have been doing brilliant. They have been working hard. Um, let's let's hear from the captain. I want you guys to hear from the captain. I want you guys to hear from the captain. Um, this is Kai Miles of Campion. Let's let, let's hear from the captain. Yeah, 
Yeah. So you mentioned um, getting the rest and the discipline to do that. What's your role as captain in, in getting the rest of the team to do that? Um, I think my role, well, I know my role is to make sure that all the boys are you know, in their mental, in their rooms at the right time. So very consistent in that way. Gio, brilliant. Brilliant goal by Giovanni Taylor. This is Katrina on the Marsh. Good play for the number five. What a beautiful. So Curtis, those videos were courtesy of Kerry James, the president of the JF. For those who don't know, the okay, how, how could I call it? No, he's the the shadow president of the JF. So big up Kerry James, massive, massive respect for that. Um, he's been doing brilliant so far, so really, really appreciate it. All right, so certainly I'm expecting good things from 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 the youngsters. Really expecting some good things from the youngsters, and I believe that we will we will be do, we'll pull through hopefully this is actually historic uh, because it's the first of advanced to the quarterfinals of the u15 um first i've gotten some points in the u15 back to back win um we got a clean sheet it's all of these are historical um moments fortunately we lost uh, uh mexico we did put up a good fight against mexico going into the game against andreas now i'm expecting to see a very good matchup now the games are coming thick and fast like three games were played they were played um a day a day apart each game is played for 35 minutes so no it's not that long i extended but it has been good for the boys and i think that they have been doing brilliant real real brilliant so far so that is it we're we're going to come for the coverage of the u15 championship tomorrow we'll get more details tomorrow we'll definitely do a program on it a program on it and you'll get to see what is happening surrounding it so big up for that and as i said hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys uh, um tomorrow for the u15 coverage again big up all right